You guys asked for it and we decided to do the final bit of the Dutch campaign. We've already formed the Netherlands, we've essentially become a massive powerhouse despite only having these provinces in Europe, but we do have a little bit of extra land around the world that being said. We've uh, established trade companies in the Ivory Coast, in the Congo Delta, South Africa, a little bit more colonies here and there around the world to essentially increase our trade range and to do a few missions and so on. And of course, we're definitely pushing into the Dutch Indies or as it is known in modern times Indonesia because this is where the majority of our main trade income is going to be coming from. We'll be filtering most of this bad boy trade straight into Europe and then straight into the English channel which we have 84% of despite owning less than 25% of the provinces in this particular trade node. We do have however that special interest of Holland in a mission that's going to give us a restoration of union on the English. So whenever we're ready to enact that, we're going to get pretty much the entirety of the trade node, aren't we? If we do get 5,000 likes in the first days after this video is out, I'm going to do a proper video on the Frisians, which got some secret buffs in the most recent update that I think a lot of you guys are really going to enjoy. I want to show you guys a few uh, things about my uh, buildings. As you can see, I got the courthouse done in, in all of my primary provinces. I'm going to actually get these done in the rest of the provinces too. Two. Workshop is mandatory to get in all of your provinces as well, as is the barracks, which we have. The marketplace is not necessarily required for all provinces, but if you have extra slots available, of course, you can get it done. Manufacturers, of course, are very important too. We don't have the uh, tech to build some of them, but we built most of the ones that we have the tech for. Same goes for the soldier's household. Once that's available and we have the tech, we're going to get those done, as we will the universities. It's also really vital to know how to manage your uh, trade company building since trade company investments make a huge difference in uh well from a lot of perspectives they can give you army tradition manpower flat trade steering for that particular region force limit flat or even land force limit flat so it's always good to have as many trade companies possible just get these bonuses right that's why we've expanded a lot and eventually all of our trade companies will be big enough to give us a merchant for each of the trade company we've also started going colonial a little bit we We've uh, established our first colony in the New World and we will be conquering the Eurocot to get it up to 10 provinces to get one more merchant. We've also sent a uh, colonist in Panama so we can get this uh, area since this is going to be where we're going to build eventually the Panama Canal. It is a significantly important province in the New World and absolutely vital to get this province the earlier the better, right? We actually haven't yet added most of these provinces to the trade, uh, the ivory trade node, but we will once we've uh, converted them to reformed we haven't converted all of them that's why i didn't do the interaction and i didn't add them all already alliance wise we have france as our main ally savoy Ternat, and a few others did martian and Ternat that are actually our vassals savoy is actually pretty decent oh zero relations oh snaps we actually got to get relations with them then same goes for the french in that case opinion of heretic neighboring heretic religion yeah we gotta improve our relations with these boys we're also going to transport the our marines to the new world let's attach them to our trade ships the india trade trade ships uh, that we have as the Dutch, which are a unique ship, also have the ability to transport units and they also have more cannons and extra ship trade power per ship. So obviously these are literally the most powerful ships in the game and only the Dutch can get them, right? We're also making bank when it comes to our mana points. We got plus five on all three. This guy I literally just replaced uh, the old one because Xavier was a little bit more expensive. We managed to get a 50% cheaper advisor. So once he's level five, he's going to be probably 16 ducats per month like uh, the admin advisor. Now all that being said we have to get ready for a few more wars here. I need to attack Madias. I need to attack everybody in the Indonesian and the Filipino land. I don't want the Spanish to come knocking on the Philippines and be like yo I heard you won some Catholicism. No no we're bringing them reformation. That's it. No Catholicism for this run at least. Holy mother my vassal is uh, getting these provinces insanely fast. They've got two the this third province that they're colonizing is actually cloves, so that's awesome. We don't have many cloves right now. We have one for ourselves and two for our vassals. We can get a few more cloves in these three provinces, and apparently Portugal started colonizing one of my clove provinces. Oh, Portugal, Portugal, Portugal. That is not cool, bro. I didn't even see them get that. I literally did not even see them get that. When did they come there? Yep, I'm gonna have issues with the Portuguese. I think I'm gonna go to war with them for that, because that is a big deal for me. Let's also check if there's any natives over here. 
here. Nope, nobody around. So let's just uh, embark our units and get out of here, I guess. We've developed almost every province to 30 development or more, but we still have insanely high amounts of Diplo points. So we got to develop even more. So we're going to do that. We're going to target, of course, our cloth producing provinces, especially, but all the other good trade goods uh, provinces also, obviously, like the paper ones are really nice as well. The uh, glass ones, of course, and envelope weapons really amazing. Take note, one thing that absolutely helped out in this run is the fact that we used expand infrastructure a ton and i really mean a ton this helped out so much it's unbelievable it's managed to turn every single one of our provinces in uh the uh, mainland which have all had their infrastructure expanded into absolute economic behemoths we're getting essentially 200 ducats profit right now in 1560s with mainly just this as most of our income is from trade from the main node we're getting 200 ducats alone oh dude which province turn not uh do they need this province for their missions that's the big question now oh uh, that sucks yeah they do need it in order to uh do the last mission there so yeah okay i'm gonna lose the claim on turn not it's fine we're really close to finishing off the plutocratic ideas that's gonna give us extra settlers and colonial range as well as provincial trade power modifier which is the main thing i'm going for here because that provincial trade power modifier means that i'm gonna get even more trade power out of my node my main node here in the english channel or as i like to call it the dutch channel channel by this point right boys the religious war will eventually also trigger i've joined the protestant league and <laughs> that means i'm gonna have to fight against a pretty strong uh, roster of nations here but it's a-okay i feel like uh, we got everything we need to win we got the russians on our side we got the venetians on our side and venice is freaking huge they got most of northern italy for that matter are they uh catholic but why are they on the on the protestant side that's a little bit weird oh well, whatever guess uh there's more interest than just religion in a religious war right oh we cannot have any indonesian rebels sir i'm sorry but we're gonna go full on uh, historical dutch and we're gonna be wiping out a lot of the natives in this area which uh have had the misfortune of actually trying to rebel against us historically guys the dutch east indies was pretty nasty when it comes to its colonial holdings i mean they absolutely slaughtered a lot of people and committed a lot of atrocities in the indonesian parts of the world in the name of profit right we've brought out of our ships in the uh, Indonesian archipelago together so we can use them in the wars to come. We're going to be attacking Sunda and we're going to be cobladrating their allies in uh, Palembang, Lanfang, and maybe Banjar. Let's see. Nope. Banjar is going to bring too many nations alongside. So we're not going to cobladrate them, but we will be taking a huge chunk of land from Sunda, Palembang, and from uh, Lanfang as well. I love the fact that, you know, when you're fighting on these islands, it's fairly easy to not get your units stack wiped. All you got to do is just uh, leave 1,000 unit behind and then just make sure the front line has enough units to support an enemy counter attack. So like in our case here, if they do attack us, our main lines of defense have enough troops to defend. Where is their army though? Because I'm... Oh, there you go. That's where they are. They got guns? Oh no! They got tech 12 already. Oh well, we're at tech 13. We probably should get some technology now that I think about it. Tech 14 is kind of necessary for wars against Europeans. How are we doing with our mana points? We used a lot out of our mana points to get plutocratic ideas, but maybe I'll hold out a little bit after I get free cities. Eh, let's also attack them, take out their entire army here. Oh, they have a lot of artillery. What the F is going on with the AI, man? I'm noticing in the last patch, the AI is building a ton of freaking artillery pieces all the time the moment they reach the tech to get the artillery they just spam the schnapps out of artillery like crazy dude nope cannot run away bro cannot run away there's literally only so many islands you can actually go to bro <laughs> eventually i'm gonna catch up to you all right soon does out now let's bring our units over to palembang i guess the cool part is that because we have naval superiority we literally just uh divide and conquer these islands extremely fast so <laughs> it's not like they can unify their troops and fight against us because they got to go from one island to another and we're just absolutely crushing them whenever they do that wait tier four reform Ooh wee boys we're getting the good stuff y'all we're getting the good stuff let's go ahead and uh, navally barrage this fort also so we take it a little bit quicker this is the main fort they got one more fortification in kutai because apparently kutai lost most of its lands to uh banjar over here there you go one down the drain a few more to go bring some of these bad boys over there as well and and Sieges Maximus, we can now become a kingdom. Oh no, an empire. Oh hell yeah, we're an empire, boys. And there goes Banjar's fleet as well. Beautiful. Actually,
actually, let's stay here because we're going to destroy Sunda's fleet if we stay here too. Oh, I forgot I was going to get the military tech. Well, tough tomatoes now. It's too late, boys. Get that provincial trade power, though. I hate you, Brunei. I was going to take that, but no, you're like, oh, this is a Brunei land. <laughs> It's exactly how they talk in there at that part of the world, by the way. They do the whole... It's just, if you don't do that, you're technically rude and they will beat you with the stick. I'm just saying. It's just common things, man. You should know this by now. What are you, like 35 living in your parents' basement? You, you definitely should know this by now. You guys noticing how this is a glitch or some shit? This ship's definitely supposed to get out of there and fight my ships, but they're not doing it. That's weird and definitely freaky. Guess they're just gonna have to uh, disappear, yes, boys. The Sapirius Maximus. Oh, we can get one more colonist from these boys here. Hell yeah, let's do it. Uh, present a note. We, we're gonna go for the easy ones. Naval commission is fine. Bribe everybody that we can bribe. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Why don't you just release uh, Majapahit and feed him all of these parts? It's actually a really good point. I might do that, to be honest. Uh, these parts are not cores of Majapahit, though. So, I'm just gonna directly take these. And can I get trade power? Ooh, okay. How about if I take one province less? Can I get trade power then? Yes, I can. All right. Because they unconditionally surrendered, the uh, peace offer value can go over 100. I know some many people asked in the ch in the comment section how come in some videos the peace value went over 100. Because the enemy unconditionally surrendered. I found out myself from the comment section. So, thank you guys for being an awesome community letting me know stuff also because i also didn't know oh my god we got ten thousand ducats i don't even know what to do with all this money uh should i buy some stuff from yeah you know what let's uh, charter company here and of course they didn't annex them bro what the f is going on with this game they literally attacked them and they made them a freaking tributary what the frack is the logic of that shit we captured 14 galleys eight transports and uh, one heavy ship from this war I'm gonna delete all that i actually don't need it i'm gonna instead build a more light ship and more India, man. Oh, I'm maxed out. Okay, more light ships then. <laughs> One thing that I also really enjoy about the Dutch is the fact that their ships repair in uh, sea tiles. Doesn't get more Dutch than having your ships repairing in sea tiles. So they don't have to be in provinces in order to repair. Of course, if they are in provinces, they repair two times faster. But still. Ah, the Leiden University. Established by William Prince of Orange. This was made because the uh, primary university was on the Spanish side during the uh, the. 80 years war so because obviously they needed people to get educated they had to build their own university in the northern bits one of the most popular universities of course and hey best part is you don't need to give the bank a foot and two legs in order to enter it you know what i'm saying americans you know yeah i don't think you know i don't think you know oh boys oh boys oh boys oh boys the war of the protestant league is here and i am so fucked because most of my trips are outside of also they got triple the amount of troops that we have this is not good actually not good okay let's bring our units here first and foremost let's bring our ships into bay because we don't want to lose all of our ships to the english massive fleet and who's the leaders the leaders are brandenburg are you freaking kidding me brandenburg's literally a one province minor oh my god we're so gonna lose this we are so gonna freaking lose this war it's not even funny man all right let's see who we have oh boy oh god the ottomans are on their side are you kidding me dude we're gonna try and peace out some of the smaller nations actually let's go towards uh, Verdun or someone like that. Let's gonna at least try Munster. Let's try and peace out Munster maybe. I'm gonna use some of my uh, mana points here. I'm gonna barrage all of these fortifications. I wanna take them out as quickly as possible. So the way for me to win this war, considering I'm massively outnumbered, is quite frankly to just siege down every single one of the smaller nations in the HRE. And then once they're fully sieged, hope that Brandenburg is gonna peace them out. Because I cannot do it because I'm not an elector in the HRE, right? I could have been if I took the electoral ship when I was still in um, in the Empire. I didn't think about it back then. I didn't think I didn't care about it too much. Probably should have. Oh, we're able to recruit the uh, Scottish Red Shanks. Hmm. Red Shanks. Is that because they were uh, redheads and they used to shank people? Because that actually kind of makes sense if you think about it. And the Ottomans are here, which means it is freaking game over, boys. Game over. Let's see who else I can attack here. Would that be Trier or Kiln? Let's go for Kiln. Or actually, let's go for Trier because they're smaller. Higher chance that Brandenburg's going to piece them out. Let's see. They still haven't pieced out Munster, which is annoying as schnapps. Oh, let me kill off Munster's army. Maybe that's going to help a bit. Oh, Venice is striking back at Kiln's units here. Okay, it's not going so bad. I was expecting it to be a lot worse than it is right now, to be fair. We're actually... 
actually getting worse score, dude. We have 11% worse score. How the F is that even happening, though? That is insane to me. Half of our freaking uh, side has peaced out already in the south. Pretty much all of the uh, nations that you see here were a part of our league, and they left. I'm trying to peace out the northern bits, but they're Brandenburg's just not piecing anybody out. It's annoying the snaps out of me, man. Like, come on, do something, Brandenburg. I was going to send my uh, Indonesian units over to Europe, but I decided that, no, that's not the right play. Here's why I still want to expand in this world, in this part of the world anyway. And um, whether we win or lose the war in Europe is not as important as me continuously expanding in these parts here. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's really all about here. Oh, now we can build this. And guess what, boys? As the Dutch, we can build two many factories. That means we got one regular manufacturing here, the textile manufacturing, and we also got the soldier's household, meaning we get both the manpower from all of our provinces and the absolute huge amount of income that those provinces have too. Pretty cool stuff. Oh, that is a cute little try on your side, Malacca, but, uh, you know, we got insanely powerful ships, so that's not gonna really work, sir. Just saying. Let's not forget here to, uh, get the stability focus before we start developing provinces yet again, Starting to get pretty expensive now, though, considering we got so much extra development in all of our provinces. Wait, Austria's capital is occupied by the freaking Commonwealth? Oh, Luxembourgian succession? Luxembourgian succession war. So the Austrians are fighting the Commonwealth because of freaking Luxembourg. Right, that's, uh very medieval of you. Hey, finally, the uh, Brandenburgians actually pieced out Munster. They made him release a nation. That's okay. Interesting. But hey, that's one less nation on the enemy side. So I'm, I'm really happy to see that happen. You know, what the hell is this? In the blackness that engulfed the night, fire lit streams copiously gushed down the hill like an open wound. Okay, this is definitely a volcano, isn't it? Lose to production. What? Oh, come on. Really? That's not even fair. Here's my question, though. Why the hell is Patani giving military access to the freaking Russians. That just makes no sense whatsoever. Like, what the F moment, bro? Canceling their alliances, maybe someone around them is gonna wipe them out then. Oh, don't you try to take my city, cause it's a cool little puppetity. Palatinat seating Heidelberg and Faust to mine. Oh, good. That's on their side. That is great. Yo, holy mother of God, mines just went from uh, one province miner to an absolute Chad Lord right there. They became the chattiest of Chads, essentially. Oh my God, I'm wiping out their army. Yeah, <laughs> boy. We we wiped out the entire Bohemian army, didn't we? Yes, we did. Speaking of Shtack and Vapenetum, we're gonna do the same to Malacca's boys. My Malacca's boys, get out of my face. All right, they unconditionally surrendered. We don't need to stack wipe them. All right, so uh, coalition-wise, nobody cares. Oh, they would be left with one province, wouldn't they? What the F? Ottomans would care about that? Bro, come on. Give me a massive break with that schnapps. Why would the Ottomans care about that? Oh no, the Ottomans went colonial, didn't they? They must have a colony. Is that... Oh my god. The Ottomans went colonial. Yep, exploration ideas all right and they're in indonesia for that matter a little bit of a coalition if it does form not the end of the world though yet another nation has been pieced out they've taken some lands from magdeburg too so that's cool to see and i think they released and health yes they did oh they reformed awesome the cool bit about uh, being at war with the ottomans is the fact that we can do this over here namely what the f just happened trier oh no oh you sons of bitches oh dude oh that is so bad my plan was to dismantle the by occupying Köln, Trier, Bohemia, and Austria's capital. The moment I occupied Trier, the Brandenburgians pieced them out. So, yeah, the plan's not gonna work anymore, is it? So, yeah, getting back to this here. Um, essentially, after we've occupied this province, we can go ahead and we can burn the colony. Screw you, Ottomans. No way I'm gonna let you get close to my lands here. Get the schnapps out of Indonesia. My land. Holy schnapps. Speaking of lands, Ethiopia's Pretty big, boys. Pretty darn big. They've even managed to get the, all the way into he- Oh my god, did they just colonize this? No freaking way. No freaking way, dude. Wait, no, I think that's Terra Incognita. I'm, I might be wrong, I'm not sure. Yeah, things are getting really bad here. We just lost to Venice, who got completely destroyed by the Austrians. This was one of the biggest uh, defenses we had, to be fair. So, uh, yeah, I'm not feeling like we're gonna win this one, boys. I'm really not feeling like we're gonna win this one. Bro, if Brandenburg actually pieced out Würzburg, it would help the war situation massively. But those dum-dums are really not doing a good job being the war leader, are they? Oh, what? We wiped out their entire freaking army? Are you shitting me? There's like four different armies in one we wiped out. That is juicy, boys! Maybe that's gonna encourage Brandenburg to peace out Köln since we wiped out their troops. They got no troops. Come on, Brandenburg! Do something, bro! Do something, man! Come on! I hate when the AI is war leader so much. And now watch the Ottomans take back all of these 
these provinces and Brandenburg missed the opportunity of actually piecing out Wurzburg. Oh my lord, we actually want to battle against the Ottoman troops. Hello! Okay, we also managed to get Wurzburg out or Württemberg, whatever the schnapps is called. Fingers crossed, with a little bit of luck, they piece out Köln, which has no units and has been under siege, like, for the past... I don't know, long freaking period of time. I'm actually starting to, to get back my faith here. We might win this overall. Or at least not completely lose it. Finally, dude. Köln is gonna cede stuff to... Oh, damn. That was actually a really good deal. They've actually gotten provinces now, Brandenburg, from them. And they made them release a ton of stuff. That explains why they waited for so long before they pieced them out. So now most of northern Germany is out of the war. We gotta focus on the big boys. Bohemia, Austria, and the freaking autumn. <laughs> yeah, we're still not gonna win this, but at least it's a little bit better now, right? Hold up a second. France just went reformed? What? When? I mean, I guess that explains why they joined my side. It means I'm keeping that alliance with the French then, boys. Dude, 64% siege. Not the freaking moment, man. Really not the moment. Come on, follow 64%, please. I beg of you. Ooh, okay, good, good. We got you, we got you, boys. Now, we uh, maybe need to take one more fortification in order to piece these guys out. 122.87. Brandenburg, please peace the bastards out peace them out we need it brandenburg come on be a player be a player brandenburg oh god oh they're gonna get raffle stomp hey wait what can we just take that in 26 days hello what now okay I'm, I'm not gonna complain about that i'm not gonna complain at all get a better general also in this army and maybe we can go for prague all right we've taken back berlin let's see if we can uh, wipe out this uh, austrian army here as well consolidation please and we did wipe out that austrian army take back uh, magdeburg now so we can actually make some gains in the war we're also going to be crushing up this uh, castilian uh, fleet so yeah we can uh, start uh, taking out some of their colonies around trying to unsiege your capital austria cannot let you do that sorry brother let's uh, try and carpet siege their country a little bit maybe that's gonna help out wait what brandenburg pieced out the ottomans with the white piece no freaking way dude oh we are so back in freaking business and austria is on low enthusiasm as well <laughs> All right, we might actually win this freaking uh, religious war in that case. Now, because we did go for economic and infrastructure, well, actually, I think we went for infrastructure, not economic. We can get dev cost reduction and goods produced, but because I also need some extra colonists for the time being, I'm going to go for this one, and I'll go back to the dev cost uh, reduction reform after I finish colonizing the Indonesian bits, because I'm trying to rush for that now before the rest of the world does, you know? Oh, the Peace of Asphalia. Holy mother, we both lost. <laughs> So the Peace of Westphalia happens when uh, neither Catholic nor Protestant have uh, enough war score to enforce on the other one. Essentially, now we got religious peace, which means that uh, any religion, not just Protestant or um, Catholic, can become the emperor and can get voted and so on, right? I think I speak for uh, pretty much all Dutch people when I say that we need the province of Zanzibar for strategic uh, sunbathing reasons. Otherwise, the whole nation is going to collapse if we don't get this. So that's clearly why I uh, why I chose ordered it no other reason it's vital guys it's absolutely vital obvious now because we do have zanzibar and because it is a special province we can change the trade goods here and it will be producing cloves just like in the spice islands which means we're making absolutely bank from this province right now we got our truce over with uh, sunda so let's go ahead and attack him i was gonna release majapahit but then i decided that i'm too lazy i'm just gonna attack him and i, I mean let's face it guys i don't really care about aggressive expansion when it comes to these areas here in Indonesia. It's not like anyone's gonna be left alive in the next 20 years to be a coalition, realistically speaking, in here. That's also why I'm gonna be attacking these guys in one month when I'm actually allowed to attack. Oh no, Sunda, you've lost all of your units. Did we actually just change the unit sprite? I'm not sure. I think we did, didn't we? Because it looks different from what it looked like before. Not so fast there, Marias. I feel like we need to talk a little bit about the, the Lord Jesus. I've come to discuss him with you are you open to interpretation sir hope you are you gotta be the world's fastest war is also over let's go ahead and uh fully annex these bad boys oh look at that javan bits boys we got all of the javos and because we annexed sunda we got blambarang and bali as our tributaries we're gonna cancel that we don't need tributaries whenever you fully annex a nation what happens is uh you get their subjects so that is you can get their colonies you can get their vassals you can get their tributaries if they had any as long as you fully annex them when um when they had those subjects don't you just love it when you gotta wait for like a thousand okay it's a hundred days until your diplomat returns the famous uh, sulu muslim uh, filipino uh, tribe i don't even know what to call it I, 
it wasn't a kingdom. I mean, debatable if it was a kingdom or not, let's face it. Truce with the Otter Bros is over, and they seem to be munching into the Egyptians like a crazy boys. Like a absolute crazy here. A gluten, 67 days, and we got the uh, Sulu, so we're gonna piece him out. We're gonna annex him. Also, like I said, ain't gonna be nobody around to form any coalition in a few years, boys. Not a single soul. And it's that time of the year where we gotta elect the uh, statist once more. Got a decision, dissolution of uh, monasteries, tax. Oh, hell yeah, I want tax. Not like it actually means anything considering most of my income's coming from trade and production, but as a law abide. Oh, screw you, game. Really pee pee in the sky moment for real? Forgot what I was even talking about. I'm just upset now. That's it. I'm upset. Well, these guys unconditionally surrendered, so I don't need to even siege down Berrao anymore. I can just do this. And we're over at 84% overextension. It's actually not so bad. Get a claim on uh, Mainila as well, since they don't have any allies. This is an insanely easy war for us. Same goes for Tondo, actually. What the schnapps? Nobody's got allies here, bro. I really like how uh, my little turnout here is just colonizing all by itself around the entirety of the Indonesian archipelago. I also went into overdrive. I'm actually doing five colonies at the same time, even though I only have uh, three colonists. I'm also going to be crushing Manila here since uh, they pissed me off because they built forts in every one of their provinces. Explain to me how these people here, this AI here, manages to maintain all of these forts. Huh? And I also have to say that just clicking stability and then developing provinces with the extra 10% dev cost reduction and then clicking stability again to disable it seems like, you know, a little bit of a cheese. Maybe you should not be able to activate these uh, interactions for one year after you click them or something like that, not just the uh, upfront eight fervor cost. I feel like that's not enough in my opinion. It's It kind of makes reform pretty strong right now. I just realized the province of Tondo is in Manila. Okay, I think Manila conquered this from Tondo. That would make a lot more sense. Yeah, definitely would happen here. Whoa, Black Betty, Blam Gang. I always, I always think about the that song when I when I look at this nation here. I'm special, okay? What do you want? It's also that time of the day to expand the fleet and we're gonna build uh, all the VOC and DMN that we can build and then after we're also gonna build a lot more regular frigates and we can get all of these extra ships to uh, other nodes that filter in our main node and in the process get a ton more money than what these 100 ships are worth, right? Such a satisfying moment when a nation does not exist anymore because of me in a particular game in EU4. It's one of those feelings you really cannot beat with any other game. Ah, uh, yes, another omen, obviously, right? I'm taking a little bit of extra time, but I'm clicking every single province individually and adding them to the trade companies or not, because if they're a different religion, I don't want to add them just yet. I want to first convert all of these provinces to reform so I don't have religious issues, and because I also like when it's one map color, be it religious, political, or whatever on the map, right? We're going to send 25 of our ships to the Caribbean because right now we've got a flat amount of zero trade power so uh we need to change that we really actually you know what i probably should send 50 here because that's a lot of money that i'm losing to the civilian node yep let's send the other 25 as well there oh my god dude are you serious right now the ottomans are starting to colonize the freaking philippines bro this is not actually happening right now is it gotta fight the ottomans for this one province bro you know what together with freaking turnot i've basically colonized most of the islands here sulawesi and so on what was colonizable right we just gotta deal with brunei and the small little stragglers around here hurrah we got global trading boys den Haag now has plus 10 percent local trade power which is a massive amount boyos massive i tell you and the beauty of being insanely rich is that we can adopt global trade instantly and that means we gotta we gotta use our mana points to develop again <laughs> oh we got the growth of perfume industry which offers until the end of the game goods produced and trade value modifier plus now we got the uh, incense being produced over in uh, Utrecht so that's pretty cool to see well at least for once we also get a plus one stability event right looks like Brunei is not offering me military access so I'm gonna have to basically wipe out their country as consequence when you choose to not give a nation like uh, moi here military access you pretty much choose death don't
don't you boys? And the best part is that it's actually time to properly develop our lands now because we got admin efficiency, dev cost modifier, and universities that we can build. So let's start building these bad boys. Universities offer local development costs minus 20% and they uh, get an extra building slot so you can essentially build them everywhere. Actually, let's properly build them everywhere, even in the Indonesian parts. Why not? Since I got so much money, I don't know what to do with it really. Hey, Prahang, how about you just a schnapple dupe out of here, okay? Like, go away, please. So we don't necessarily have all of the uh, Malacca node, but we got most of the Indonesian bits. We're missing um, one province that I'm really upset about. <laughs> a couple more, I guess, that the Portuguese and the Castilians took. Plus this chunk here, I'm just waiting for the truce to finish, so whenever that's done, we're gonna attack them again. But whatever the case, we're managing to get 79% of the Malacca node, and as consequence, we're transferring 70 ducats downstream, making its way towards the English Channel node. We've also sent some ships, so we got 50% trade in the Gujarat node, again, sending this bad boy off downstream towards the uh, Dutch Channel, actually, node. We've done the same with our ships around the world in vital trade nodes, and we're trying to filter as much, even from the non-vital, like the Congo node is also going towards the Ivory, and then from the Ivory, we got 98 freaking ducats transferred over towards our node. Actually, I should probably... Oh my god, I didn't add this to the node. That explains a lot that explains all right now i can make this a um wait what oh it's not 10 development are you kidding me right now all right there you go 10 development and we're gonna get a little bit more trade power as consequence same for this bad boy here so we can get even more than uh, 98 it's gonna reach over 100 afterwards from the new world as well thanks to our ships we're getting most of this juice into the uh, dust channel not so much in the northern bits but we're working on it overall though right now we got 270 duck in the channel node and as consequence we're making 466 ducats only from trade in this uh, node alone which is mind-blowing to me but it's just a standard dutch game which goes to show that going colonial but also going trade company because i didn't go colonial much aside from the indonesian bits which sure i colonized half of it but most of it i conquered most of the time my colonists were just getting provinces for my trade companies and i was also chartering trade companies and it ended up with me having having insane amounts of money from trade, literally creating a trade empire in the process. Now with the full conquest of the Indonesian lands under our control and with the extra charter companies around the world, we've really become an actual trade empire. So if you enjoy trade empires, then I'm pretty sure you're gonna love my Venice run up here. Also, I want to give a big thank you to all my patrons, channel members and Twitch subscribers. I really wouldn't be able to do all of this without your support. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart.